Some time ago, I saw on YouTube a video by Fran Blanche. She had made a uh, art project I thought was rather neat. Fireflies in a jar. In uh, her project, she's taken an Arduino and some LEDs and these LEDs impersonate fireflies. I thought that was a really neat thing, a really fun gift. So I decided to make my version of fireflies in a jar and that's what that's what this video is about. I started looking, I wanted to find a bottle for my project. Something that would be special, something that might look really nice with some LED fireflies inside it. I um, found a vase in a in an antique store. It was just the right thing. It had these uh, faceted sides. It it looked really neat and special. And I figured there'll be some good optical refracting effects in in those facets. And so I took it home and started figuring out how I might want to to go build the electronics to go inside of it. The opening in the top of the of the vase was by far too narrow to have a, an Arduino stuck in, at least not an Uno or anything like that. But I happen to have some of these, the uh, Arduino Pro Mini. They're cheap and really good. They do you know pretty much everything the Uno does except it doesn't have the FTDI or, or USB serial interface on it. Um, but I could fit that in there just barely. And so the next part of, of the problem was figuring out what kind of circuit would I use to, to drive these LEDs. I um, Just from looking at the bottle or the vase, I saw that this was a pretty big volume I couldn't have just six LEDs, one for each of the analog out or PWM channels on, on, on the Arduino. Um, I wanted to have more fireflies than that, at least twice as many, just sort of to spread the light out and make it less apparent where, where the light came from. So I decided to use a LED matrix this is the schematic, as you can see. I use 12 LEDs, and they are just connected with anodes to some of the Arduino pins and cathodes to some other Arduino pins, and that's pretty much it. And then I just had to figure out analog levels or, or the variable brightness in all these LEDs. And that's not that difficult. Uh, I just used an interrupt to give me um, a really fast timer to control my own PWM function, which then can drive any of the LEDs with different brightness. Connected to that function, I also made an animation software that, that can um, make each of the little simulated fireflies come on and turn off in, in a way that's not binary, something that has a really neat and um, organic feel to it. Anyway, I should show you, this is a prototype that I made. And uh, I put that together with wire wrap. That's kind of how I prototype these things. I know you can use those little jumper wires or, or what have you, but this is better for something you want to keep or something that's that's more permanent or doesn't come apart when you when you poke at it. So the way I ultimately put all of all of this in, in the bottle was by um, using surface mount LEDs. I found some really nice 0805 easy to solder lime green LEDs that looked a lot like real fireflies and, and um, I connected those to pair of wires for every one of the 12 LEDs. I connected those to the Arduino and then um, I used cable ties to form the wires. So kind of like a bottle cleaning brush, you know, so the wires would be going in all directions and kind of spread out 
in the interior of the of the bottle volume. Then I connected a USB FTDI module to the Arduino so that I could supply it with power that way and also go back in later through the USB serial connection and um, you know program it. I would then take that USB cable and pass it through a hole in the bottle and that that's how I did that. To make the hole in, in the bottle I used a glass drill bit I found at, at Home Depot um, and I used an aquarium pump to flow water continuously over the drill site while I was making the hole. Um, having the water flow there had, had a, a, a dual benefit. It maintains the uh, a low temperature at the drill site so you don't have the glass becoming brittle from from the temperature increasing um, it also uh, keeps vibrations down so that that's another good reason actually it's got a third benefit the water binds the dust so you don't get glass dust in your lungs because that's you really don't want that so all in all it was it was not difficult to do all the the fabrication the soldering the connection all of that was just done in a single afternoon i just pulled the wire back in the bottle with the whole train the uh FTDI module and the arduino and and the leds and just used a a, a plastic peg to arranged the LEDs on the inside and uh, I powered it up and it worked right away. Um, one thing to note in this picture here you can see the whole electronic setup. I do have um, a third module in, in here and the middle module in the middle is an RTC, uh, a real-time clock and that was basically because the the final thing that I made, my fireflies in a bottle, um, ended up being sort of a calendar thing. It would be an anniversary gift um, that keeps time, keeps the date and so on. One particular anniversary date in the year it would have a special pattern that would be brighter and more intense than the normal and much more mellow pattern. <clears throat> um, anyway, the, the code for that to compensate for the drift, the imprecision of that RTC module. I thought it was too messy to keep in the project that I'm releasing here. You can find everything in, in, the, in the source code, but if you're really curious about the, the date function and, and how I compensated for, for drift and so on, you're welcome to, to post a question and I'll post a follow-up with some diving into that. In any case, you're very welcome to post any kind of follow-up or question you might have about this project. I'll look forward to seeing what you might come up with for your for your own versions of this this idea.